the country recovers from COVID-19 pandemic, many sectors of the economy are still struggling to take shape and stand on their feet once again. The arts industry that depends on tours and travel industry was badly hit in a bid to bounce back uh, to be better. The craft industry and its umbrella body of national arts and cultural crafts, an association of Uganda have organized an expo to create awareness of the industry. Now, the four-day marathon event is organized in partnership with MasterCard Foundation and Uganda Tourism Association at the National Theatre right here in Kampala. Our reporter, Liam Hachi, was there uh, to get you this big story. Hundreds of thousands of masterpieces, tens of art masters, and hundreds of art viewers flocked to the National Theatre for the first ever Crafts and Culture Crafts Expo in Uganda. And thousands more are expected ahead of the official launch tomorrow. Art pieces in all shapes and sizes are on display here. The masters of the crafts stand by their marked stalls waiting for potential buyers. This is an, a natural mask made from natural wood of people from Tesoro the Bwindi community, and I will possibly try out this and see how it looks like on my face. According to Professor Bruno Serunkuma, an award-winning ceramic creator and lecturer at Makere University, also an exhibitor at the Expo, recognizes the importance of events like these and says events like festivals and expos create linkages and benefits for the little recognized art and crafts industry. So the expos are very, very important. First of all, they expose the products and then the artist or the creator. So participating in these expos, people will get to know the unique products which you produce and uh, you can easily uh, access the market because uh, interested people, interested buyers will come and uh, visit the expo and look around and identify the products which they want. At uh, times they talk to you to get the information which they want. Yeah. After a long break from work brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic lockdown, the artists can now begin to reap from the work of their hands. And as the industry begins to take shape again, the expo is the first step towards that gold mouth as Robin Atumuhirwe narrates. The lockdown, definitely it touched us so much, so much. Remember, these crafts you see here, they are mostly liked by the, the whites. They are the, they like it so much. It's, it is uh, what they want to buy when they come in Uganda. And good thing they like it. So since they stopped them from coming, so we were down. The four-day expo has attracted art creators and craftsmen from different corners of the country. For gems of the Pache Blacksmith Association from Pakwache District, the expo is a gateway to prices opportunities, as he explains. When you go to the expo like this one, you meet different people who are making different products. Then also it helps you in improving the finishing of your product. The art and crafts industry depends on tourism to fetch good market valuation and in many tourist destinations, craft shops are a must find. However, the full potential of the industry is not yet tapped into as Andrew Kaware of Uganda Tourism Association explains. Yes, the crafts may be considered um, more under culture and gender, but tourism and, 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 and culture and uh, these arts are inseparable. So we walked a journey when they became our members, and uh, today uh, I think we are speaking about some of the successes where we are going to host the first uh, Ugandan Arts and Culture Crafts Expo, which we have called the Uganda Arts and Culture Expo 2022. As concerns continue to grow of environmental degradation and global warming brought about by a climate changing world, Richard Kaware believes that the arts and crafts industry could be a solution into a sustainable future. Practicing conservation of the environment as opposed to those who simply cut down the trees. So actually arts and crafts are some of the biggest protectors of the environment because it is those materials uh, which are actually uh, from the environment that they use, but from a conservation perspective. How? Some of them have gone ahead to plant additional materials from what they use. This report has been compiled by Ashraf Nduga and Robert Ndiamhachi for BTM News Today.